Yo, what up guys? It is a sad day for some Sakazuki players. June 21st, my Pookie Bear has been put in prison. And um, I'm not sure he's coming back out, bro. They literally banned Whitebeard for three weeks and brought him back. And we're like, oh, I think it's fine. I think he's fine. And he's been continuously like doing very well. But the thing is with Sakazuki... Bro, they made a whole other Sakazuki, bro. So I don't think that, that I don't think that that's gonna happen. I don't think that that's gonna happen. I think Sokka is just gone for good, and uh, that makes me really sad. For so uh, for those of you guys who don't know, like I was very much so a non-meta player for like pretty much the entire existence of this game. You know, like I was I played a lot of Blurple Croc in set one. I played Kid for like two weeks. Uh, let's see, set. Three, set three I did play law, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna cap on that one. But set four I went back to crocodile, bro. I went back to blue. And I was like, bro, I'm just like I'm playing all these like off meta decks and like I'm not winning that much because they're off meta decks and even though like I liked I like to play them. Uh, cause that was like my playstyle, you know? And then Sakazuki got released in set five. And I was like, holy, like, okay, so at first, I'm not going to lie, I was like, yo, this deck's ass, bro. But that's because I was ass. I didn't know how to play it. And, like, my deck list was not right, by the way. it was. I was playing, like, 3,000 worlds. And, like, I was trying, like, all types of crazy shit. And then, I, if like, it, it, like, started to click for me, like, probably, uh, probably, like, a month into the set five. And from that point, bro, I was topping freaking everything i can get my hands on like and the sad part was for set five bro there's like no tournaments in set five i got into one and i got top 32 um and i actually bubbled out bro i bubbled out of top 16 like i lost at table nine no no, no i lost at table eight and uh i went i got all the way to like i think i got like 24th or something i'm like damn bro like i thought i was at, i thought i was gonna be top 16 on that one and then i went to nats and even though i didn't have my invite at the time uh i got second at this uh 128 player tournament with Sakazuki. I won the uh, this top player card called Killer, and um, I won. Uh, what is it called? I uh, won like that was like a 1400. Sorry, the ambulance is uh, very loud out there. Anyway, it was like a 1400 dollars card, and then we moved to set six, and then I get like another top eight in Arlington, Texas, and then I get a couple top 32s. I get a top uh, 64. I'm like, damn, bro. Like, I'm crushing it with this leader, bro. I'm, I'm just fucking crushing it with this leader. And um, that's where the journey ends, bro. I couldn't get into any other events after, you know, like two weeks ago. So, um, my Pookie Bear, he is, he is, he is gone. But with that being said, I am doing a Sayonara Sakazuki Summer Sale. I know that was a little tongue twister on my website moonlighttcg.com for my play mats so this guy right here has won me oh that's a little too bright he's won me about eighteen thousand dollars in prize support uh from tournaments and i'm going to be giving you guys 18 percent off of my play mats so um this is only going to last until i get to vegas so june 29th or june 30th june 30th so from today till June 30th, these play mats will be 18% off. So be sure to check that out. But back to the Sakazuki. I don't know what I'm gonna be playing, guys. Like I don't know, I don't know if I'll ever enjoy a deck like I enjoyed Sakazuki. Because it felt like every decision that you made mattered. I, I interviewed um I interviewed Nikki Goldman um, a little while ago, and he was telling me that he that's how he felt about law, red green law. He was like, it felt like every decision I made was like I had agency over like how I won and how I lost, and that's how I felt with Sakazuki. You know, it was like like the card that I discard right now, in seven turns from now, like that better have been the right decision or I'm fucked, right? <laughs> like if I discard a Luchi now and then I don't have uh, like I have a Hina in the trash. And then I don't have enough, like, I don't draw another Hina or a Luchi. I can't Rebecca Hina Luchi. And, like, now I'm kind of cooked, right? Or it's like, oh, if I discard this Great Eruption now, like, what happens if I need some cost reduction? Like, do I have to hard play a Helmeppo? Do I have to hard play a Hina? Um, do I have to waste one of my Ice Ages? I only have two of his in this deck. Like, bro, like, there was a lot of decisions, a lot of micro decisions that you had to make with that deck. And it felt like, 
it felt like every decision mattered. And because every decision mattered, like, it was just fun. It was like every single turn you're like figuring out like a puzzle that you had to like solve. Like, hmm, like I need to like find every missing, like I need to find the holy trinity of hand. Like I need cost reduction, I need uh, removal, and I need um, a counter, right? But sometimes it's like, okay, what do I need more? Right? Cause like sometimes you have like, like, the best of best cards in your hand but like not for like three turns from now so you're like damn like what do i pitch now that won't come back to fuck me later on it there's just a lot of decisions dude and like the fact is you had a you're a four life leader and you took your first one or you took your first one for free so you're technically like a three life leader and you only play eight two k's in the deck so like you're literally like yo like i'm i'm teetering with life and death right now and i feel like if i fuck up one time and like like miscount you know the cost reduction or like uh, you know, not account for something he has later on, or like don't put pressure on him enough so like I can end him, then he can just run me over and I'm gonna run out of gas or I'm gonna run out of counter to, to be able to like, you know, close out the game before he kills me. And I'm like, yo, like, damn, like there's so many, like, it was like a game inside of a game, right? And now you play all these other leaders and let's take a Nell for instance, cause I'm, I, I'm like low key thinking about playing a Nell cause it's so fucking cheesy uh, for set seven. Um, but bro, like, let's look at it now. It's like on my, on my, on my third, my three dot turn, I probably just put three dot on my leader and attack where it's like, it's Sakazuki. It's like, okay, I'm going to search for brand new. And then do I play Toshiki? Do I play stage? What card do I pitch off my leader effect? Do I even attack into the NL? Cause shit, bro. Like, I mean, they might trigger into something. What if they play Flampe and go into ace the next turn? Now they're there, they're at two life. There's a lot of decisions you have to make. Um, or like even even something like as complicated like I think Bonnie is like low key complicated because it's like a lot of like dawn management and you have to play your characters in the right turn orders, but even Bonnie isn't like nearly as like you know taxing as Sakazuki like mentally. But yeah, man, that's um, that's that's probably about it, bro. Like I'm just I'm just sad, guys. Like I know everyone thinks that the leader is like insanely broken, but. I, I just didn't really think so, bro. Like, I felt like every... I felt like the the leader only... It only um, benefited good players. You know what I'm saying? So, like, if you were not a good player, you were not topping at all with Sakazuki. Because you have to go 10 rounds, like 9 or 10 rounds, barely making any mistakes, right? Like, you have, you have to go t 9 or 10 rounds playing against other Sakazuki players and other Gecko players, other Red Purple Laws, White Beards, you know, Reijus, and you just have to make, like, zero mistakes in, like, 9 or 10 rounds. And, like, 97% of, like, the whole One Piece community can't fucking do that. So it's like, I felt like Sokka was only good in the right hands. And if, like, I don't think you should, like, punish players like that, bro. Like, I, I really don't think so. Like, you're punishing the best players f for for what, bro? Because they're good with a deck? Like, that just doesn't make sense. Doesn't make sense. But, yeah, guys, that's it. That's it. I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop yapping, bro. I'm going to miss you, Sakazuki, bro. I'm going to miss you. If you guys want to check out MoonlightTCG.com, check out the Say Sayonara Sakazuki Summer Sale. And, uh, yeah, guys, I'll see you later. Peace.